Hello, artist. I know we just got done reading The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds, and now we are going to make our own dots just like Vashti in the story. So each of you is going to choose whatever color paper you would like to start your dot on. And then each of your tables has a little container full of circles. Now what we're going to do is you are going to choose any size circle and we're going to trace it on our paper. When I trace, I hold my thing down with one hand and then I use my pencil to trace right up next to the edge of whatever I am using as a tracer. I'm making sure that my pencil is on the pink paper and not on the tracer because if I'm drawing on the tracer, I won't have a circle left on my paper for me. Now today I am using Sharpie just so you can see, but you guys will be doing this in pencil. And if you mess up, you can always just erase and then take your circle, put it back and fix whatever lines became a problem. Once you have the circle you, the way you like it, now you are going to decorate it however you want. You can take even more circles and you can trace them inside. You could draw something in it. You could make stripes or lines or a pattern or whatever you want. But this is your dot and you are going to get so creative with it and I can't wait to see what you make. Now that I have finished designing my dot, I can color it and then I can cut it out. The reason that I want to keep it in its paper while I color instead of cutting it out first is because if I cut it out first, I might accidentally draw on the table. But right now, if I'm coloring and I accidentally go outside the lines, it's not going to be on my table and it's not a big deal because when I cut it out, that will disappear. So we're going to color it first before we cut it out. So our steps today are trace a circle, design a circle, and then we can decorate it and cut it out. All right, boys and girls, now that your dot is decorated and cut out, you are all done for the day. I hope you had fun. Bye.